How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane. I'm here to give you another Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba Swordsmith Village Arc episode review. Today's episode is episode 10, Mist Hashira, Marichiro Tokito. I love the fact that it took 10 episodes and I can say that name flawlessly. Before I go any further, please flawlessly hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos like this on the road to 1000 and we will surely get there just like this episode is surely one of the best. You know, for the last, I don't know, since episode five, I was talking about how episode five is the best episode of the season. I remember mentioning last week's episode was four. You know, it, it was it was getting there. Nothing about this season has been uh, average at all. And um, <laughs> oh, 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 this episode's so good. This episode's so good, y'all. So I had to put I put in my notes here because the title, right? Obviously, it's going to be about Marichiro, but I bet you guys haven't noticed that we've had other titles like this before like sound hashira uzui uh, tengu uzui or flame hashira kyojaro rengoku and i said to myself oh man were those the titles when they were about to get the asses what no 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 um the opening of the entertainment district which by the by for some reason swordsmith village arc is called the third season I, I get that Mugen Train was first the movie and then it was a second, then it was a chopped up for another season. I still consider that the second season. Technically, this is four, but that's why I just refer to them all by their arc titles. By the by. I digress to you all, though. Uh, the first time we got Flame Hashira was that filler ish episode of uh the mugen train the one that didn't air in the movie apparently i did some research apparently that didn't air and we meet rengoku and rengoku saved that young girl with the box of food her and her grandmother and her grandmother said yeah you know demons are real and blah 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 got saved and we see him and he does the damn thing and it's pretty damn cool add some more light for you guys for uh sound hashira uh tengen Uzui, that's also when we meet him when he tries to grab oh man i'm really bad at the girl's name the the cute girl that works at the butterfly mansion who she has blue hair she's she's pretty funny very nice she's basically the big sister of the triple of the triplets not not uh kanoe not her not not uh not our boys boo not him but the other girl right I'll remember her name later. I'll I'll be upset. But when he was trying to get her to go off on that mission in the red light district, which is I get he was looking for uh, women so they could fill the roles of being geishas and women of the night. Such a good idea that he did do that because our boys have barely made it out of that one alive. He lost an arm and a leg. Well, he lost an arm for his trouble in that. But yeah, those were introductory episodes for those characters. This is the first time that we've already met this guy, but the first time we get in this title and it's a total triumph, right? I had to, so glad I take phone notes because I couldn't write, I could not write all this out. Insanity. This man, Marichiro, has single-handedly in the last six episodes, has just turned around to being like one of my favorite characters. The more he's remembering, the more he's just becoming just savage. The him and uh, Gyoko, the fifth upper rank fifth demon, they're trading barbs back and forth, right? Just <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> like uh, if I'm trying to remember the first, he says here here first thing he says is because Gyoko's like, aren't you getting ahead of yourself? He says. No, I'm just stating the fact. You will be getting beheaded by me. For some reason, I feel like I'm in the zone right now. It's just like, okay, all right, I see you. And when, you know, the demon, you know, he tries to slide around and get the upper hand. And he's calling uh, calling our boy dumber than a dung beetle. And he's like, yeah, you look like you live in crap, though. <laughs> he just treating his, and he talks about how short his limbs are. And then Marichiro's like, 
Yeah, but your limbs are actually pretty tiny. His baby arms. I've been calling this man baby arms the whole entire season. And he actually, it was he says, he says, I hate looking at you. You're such a piece of crap. Bro, he is not holding back. And so I, I, I like talking about the exchange. So the, the battle exchange where guys is one of his, his whole demon arts are just fish related. Fresh, just fish related. He sends out, uh, what's it called? 10,000 gliding slime fish. Marichiro, sis form, sixth form of misbreathing, lunar dispersal, chops all that stuff up. He's in one, just in the air, doesn't move, and chops up this literal wave. Just imagine a wave of fish all sliced up. Which, you know, the demon was like, oh, man, that's really strong, but it doesn't matter because the fish disperse a poison because he was wondering why his poison wasn't hurting him already. I think he forgot that uh, they bre- the, the breathing forms of the uh, demon slayers. They can heal themselves, get rid of toxins. Plus, his mark, his demon mark is, is up. So, mm-mm. but the poison was apparently transdermal. I didn't even have to look it up because he's like, it'll, it'll go through your skin. Okay, that makes sense. Dermal, transdermal. All right, cool. Does a uh, third form scattering mist slash and just gets rid of all that crap in one slash. <sighs> Guy has a second form because he gets ready to cut his head off. But no, nope, he shed his skin. He's completely out of the vase now, out of the pot. And he has this snake form with all these hardest diamond scales and he has... Big old arms. He still has the nasty mouth for eyes and uh, eyes for mouth. And he's bragging. He's doing the natural anime villain thing, saying only three people have ever seen this form. <laughs> and Marisha was like, that's a lot, though. <laughs> and he tells him to shut up. And so he's bragging about this form still. And Marisha says nothing. And he's like, Aren't you gonna say anything? You told me to show. He has he has the same joke face he had when he was with uh, Tanjiro. <laughs> He's like, "Well, you told me to shut up." And as they're getting ready, dude comes in quickly. Obviously, he's an upper rank demon. Uh, Marichiro's easily dodging the attacks. I say easily, but uh, this dude's secondary effect of his uh, new body or evolved body. Every place that he touches turns to fish. So our boy had to go up into a tree and I said, why well, look at his shirt turn to fish? By the way, he's ripped. Dude's 15 and he's just like straight ripped. I digress. Turn to fish. The ground turned to fish. And he's like, yeah, how do you like, you know, my ultimate technique? Everything turns into fresh fish. He's uh, again trading bars with him because Maurice Rose like stop running away in the trees. He's like, hey, look who's in the tree now. And our boy right here does the creepiest shit. He looks up and he's smiling. And I'm like, that is one of the most menacing, creepy smiles ever. And so he thinks, again, he's reflecting, he's remembering about he had been holding on to his brother's dead, dying hand for so long. It was maggots on his body. And then the maggots started to come after him reach real because he still had open wounds but at that point the master's wife and, and twin daughters came they got him unfortunately his brother was already just rotting and at that point we see what the uh swordsmith his former swordsmith was talking about he is wrapped up and but he's training in the ring pushing himself and when one of the daughters is like hey you know you're, you're still not healed her mom was like, Mm-mm. he is fueled by the burning rage. He, said by himself, even if he doesn't remember, his body's never going to forget. This is why he hates the demons. That his body's going to be dedicated to eliminating and annihilating every last one of them. It's like, okay, cool. Well, bad guy, bad guy's ready to attack again. His next demon art is killer fish scales, which his scales turn red and it allows him to move his body unpredictably. He's moving crazy and in different angles and stuff. And Tokyo was just there, just moving and dodging. And then he does the seventh form 
of the mist breathing, obscuring cloud. Y'all, the effect on this, the mist effect has been nothing short of astounding throughout this entire season. I, Whoever came up with the idea of doing it that way, mwah, hats off to you. So, guys attacking what you think is a Marichiro moving in through the mist. It's just illusions. And I'm going to deliver this line. The line this man said was, so tell me, what made you think you were the only one not taking this fight seriously? Head gone. Cuss the dude's head clean off. One of the coldest lines I think I've ever heard in this series from a character that's not named Tanjiro. Right? Tanjiro usually has all the cool lines. Last week he had cool line. Uh, getting pissed off at was it was it him last week? No, week before last. He's getting pissed off at the new super form of was it is it hatred? Is that guy hatred? I think that guy's hatred. Getting pissed at him, calling him, calling them vile uh villains and everything. This was pretty damn cool. That's that's how you finish an opponent off. Of course, Upper Rain Demon's still talking trash. Why his head? His head is off. He couldn't even believe that his head got cut off. And Marichiro is so done with his shit. He just dices. He dices the head into nothing. He says, yeah, I'm tired of you hearing. Please go to hell already. I hope every other episode that is titled the Hashira's name is as cool as this one. Fan freaking tastic. I don't even know if the battle was that. I think the episode was that long. I, I can't even remember how long the battle was because I was just fully enjoying this, right? And um, we get some cool. So let's talk about uh, lack of collateral damage. Uh, Haganazuka, he's still sharpening that blade. He's over there. He couldn't. He wasn't helping Hanamori because uh, our boy passes. He, he's more or less passing out. He's frothing from the mouth. He's pale. We get his joke face again where he says, I'm okay. I told you I'm okay. No, dude, you're passing out. And you get Kotetsu, who's not dead. He tells those dude, turn him on the side, says, and choke on the phone. And he's like, how are you still alive? Aren't you a ghost? What He's bleeding from the arm. What protected him was that, um, I guess you call it the hilt. There's a, it's, I think the proper name for, on it for a sword is Subasa. Which is the hand guard. The hand guard that Tantro gave him, the one that uh Rengoku's brother gave him that he wants on his new blade, that protected him from being slashed in the stomach. And so it's like Rengoku saved him. So uh Marichiro has a memory flashback of meeting Rengoku who says, Hey, let's be the best Hashira we can be. And he gets another flashback of the master telling him once you have, uh, I wish I would have put that part down in my notes. Because the master saying, once you found your unshakable self, you will become stronger. I feel like that's that should just, that needs to be on a shirt or a billboard. That is a good inspirational speech. Like once you've found your unshakable self, and I feel like I've seen that someplace else. You're gonna become a stronger person. And this is the part that got me, y'all. As he's laying on the ground, his dead, his family comes to him. Father is hit, hand is on his head, mother's hand on on his shoulder while he's laid laid out. And then he was saying, "See, I told you everything was gonna be okay. You know they're dead because they're not moving their mouths." And then he sees his brother, and his brother said, "You did good." And he takes his hand, and he's crying, and I'm crying. I'm like, "Oh, you got me." You got me on that one. Didn't even have enough time to process these emotions because, meanwhile, Tanjiro's trying not to get eaten by a five-headed wooden dragon. He's able to figure out how, again, our boy's a battle tactician. He's able to figure out how far it can stretch. It can stretch up to 66 Shaku. Please, somebody in the comments. I, I know I've mentioned this before. What the hell measurement is a Shaku? Please help me. Is it... Is it a foot? Is it, is it can't be an inch. Is it a meter? Is it 66 meters? I can see that being meters, right? It has to be meters because this is a massive Yamato no Orochi type wood dragon, right? So Shaku's has to be meters. Maybe it's yards. I don't know. I don't know. Someone tell me what that is. Nesco, do you know? Nesco can't tell me. She can't tell me. But 
He's still figuring this all out. He wants to do the Hino Kami Conqueror clear blue sky to try to cut off his head. Same move he used to hit the Mugen Train's spinal cavity, which is where the heart of this of that thing was. Yes, I'm a nerd. I remember these moves and when they were done. Um, before you can do that, the thing does that sonic burst that the Pleasure Tengu version it did bursts his eardrums. While uh, Nesco is able to, you know, punch and kick some back. And even Genya. Genya, like, you guys ever see Peter Jackson's uh, Kong, King Kong movie where he just rips apart the mouth and the head of the T-Rex, just dislocates it? He did that to one of the wooden heads, but these things are constantly regenerating, obviously. And Tanjiro's realizing his eardrums are burst. This thing's doing all the moves of all of the other parts together that the big thing had, the hatred, has inside of him. He just hits the drums like, doom, doom, doom. Does the fan move. It looked like it looked like it was about to destroy Tanjiro's leg. He's doing all the lightning and stuff. I have no clue what the blue one's ability was outside of stabby stab with the halberd spear. But he doesn't have enough time to use breathing to heal himself. He's like, I'm winded. I, I can get out of its range. No, you can't. Because this thing pulls Alien 3 on him like a xenomorph. With another hit of the drums, a head comes out of a head, comes out of a head, and grabs him. And it swallows our boy. To which Genya and Nesco are just like, oh no. Obviously this thing isn't alive, so it's crushing him on the inside. Now, I present to you one of the best entrances of any character. Period. Not just in this show, but period. Mitsuri Kanroji appears out of just... Her body is in the sky, the moonlit sky, with her ribbon-like sword, slices this thing up, frees our boy. One of the best entrances I've ever seen. Of course, uh, Nesco, that's, Nesco sees her as big sister. Nesco's just happy and elated, or at least surprised and happy that she's there. And she's telling um, Tanjiro, she's telling him, hey, it's okay, you did really good. I'm here now. Mind you, she freaked out at first, like, what the heck is that? And she's smiling throughout this whole entire time. Tanjiro's like, I can't hear her because my eardrums are bursting. He tries, he screams to her, hey, that's an upper rank demon. I don't think she gives a damn because she's, again, runs in smiling. I think the only other character we've ever seen run into a battle smiling had to have been Tengen Uzui. Rengoku was kind of smiley when he fought that one demon in the first episode of that Mugen Train episode block. Just because it's like, eh, I'm going to murder you. Who cares? You're, you're nothing. But she's all smiles. As this thing's snapping, using her blade to wrap around its mouth. She, I keep forgetting that she is, while she may look dainty, she is physically astoundingly strong. To where she's whipping this thing's head and neck around and smashing into the other ones. Going in, I guess, to save Genya and Nesco because they were, you know, gripped and held by this thing. But she's going in. And would you believe it? Next week's episode, episode 10, is called Love Hashira Mitsuri Kanroji. Or as they would say in Japan, Kanroji Mitsuri. Oh, wow. So I guess she's going to destroy this thing. Are we only getting 12 episodes for this season? What comes? I'm kind of I'm kind of glad I didn't read the manga because I if homeboy's episode was him getting rid of this thing, obviously hers is going to be her getting rid of this. Right. Right. But just amazing. I. But before I get ahead of myself, the Taisho secret today, there is no secret uh, the secret is that Zenitsu and Anosuke are are peeved. First, Zenitsu didn't move his mouth. He's just saying like, "Oh, when's our turn coming up?" Right? <laughs> they're not in any episodes. They are aware that they're not in any episodes. Even Anosuke is like, "I don't sense an enemy's presence." <laughs> and he's like, "Of course not. We haven't gotten a turn. Let's just finish this mission and go to the next mission." And he tells us the next week's title. 
And of course, the nose gay and goes, uh, wait, 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 go, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. He says, you better demolish that upper rank demon. Got that? Senpachiro. I love that it's Senpai and Ta- it's God, he doesn't he can't even call Tanjiro's real name, but it's cute. It's funny. Yeah, no. Episodes five out of five. Um, how do you simultaneously get me hyped for a fight? Get me, you know, popping and jumping up like, oh damn, those are they are really trading barbs back and forth. He is getting in this dude's ass. And then at the at the end of all this, you you did you make me cry? And then you give me no time to process the emotions I have to see my favorite character, Tanjiro, getting his butt whooped, trying to survive, and then he gets saved by best big sister. I a character who is I, it's it's hard to pinpoint her, but it, it is it is. I love how subtle the power scaling in this show is, because after you know, once the lower ranked demons show up, kind of all bets are off. You can see what type of demon slayers can defeat the stronger upper ranked demons, the stronger demons. Because what Tanjiro, I think I think the turning point was the string. The string, uh, lower rank demon, which I've I probably said, if not last week, week before last, and it's just like Genya said, if he had, I think, defeated that upper rank demon by himself, the one he got help with, uh, fighting with, uh, Tengen and the boys, and that, well, I don't think, well, Nesco kind of counts, but she was asleep for the latter half. If he hadn't gotten help. He would technically be a lower level Hashira right now. No questions asked. He probably would take Rengoku or Tengen's spot. I I wish their requirements were different. Just give this man that rank already. Because he is doing phenomenal. As as were our other boys. But he's doing phenomenal. Um, Just wow. I, I... that's all I can say. Five out of five. No questions asked. Now we are at the second. And it's every five episodes, right? I, I like the number five. But episode five and now episode nine. Almost every five episodes. Episode five and nine. Fantastic. Please let episode ten be just as amazing. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Please. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Be notified of more videos like this. Cannot... I just I wasn't expecting a great episode today. I was just expecting, oh, this is good. You know, it's the show's great. The show's good. I love it. But I didn't expect this to be the the next best episode of the season. Wow. Again, thank you for taking some time out to watch me talk about all this. Be good. Be blessed. Wash those hands. Be good to yourselves. Be good to others. Either way, it goes. Don't be a jerk. Remember, you're never alone in this world. There are people out there that would rather talk to you today than miss you and mourn you tomorrow. Make sure you reach out to someone. My social medias are right there in the description. Feel free to follow me. Don't be a jerk and I won't be a jerk back. Hey, so my Taisho secret, guys, is I'm Shane and I'm going to see you next time.